to Xenosay and play Skyrim. It has been a very long time since I've been back in the land of Skyrim. Last episode, if I can remember correctly, we started to go through a little bit more of the main quest line and retrieve the Dragonstone for Faringar, which I have in my possession right now. Between then and there, I would decide to go ahead and fill my uh, belly up with a little bit of food, had some rest, leveled myself up. Got my two-handed skill up for the first perk. Two-handed weapons do 20% more damage, so I'll be more effective with my uh, greatsword. Dawn Guard, vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Good for you, buddy. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and return the Dragonstone to Farangar and then continue our journey into this quest. Maybe turn it in, see what happens. I don't know. Well, I mean, I do. I, I played Skyrim at least a dozen times. I, I know exactly what's going to be happening. But for anybody who doesn't know, I'm not going to spoil it for you. So let's go. The air is warm here. Well, there's a giant fire, so, you know, I would assume that the air is warm here. You see? The terminal? Ah, the Dragonstone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. Eh, a little bit. You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward, Abenichi. Thank you. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location. So your information was correct after cool. all. Cool. Right. Let's go talk to the Jarl real quick. Huh? Oh yeah. Just send me a copy. Farangar. Farangar, you need to come at once. A dragon's been sighted nearby. Oh! You should come too. Should I? Dragon. How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. Farangar's such a nerd. I don't know He's such a nerd. Alright, so go up here. Not now. Oh. I mean, okay, I mean, it, it's, it's cool, it's whatever. You know, just waiting for your orders and whatnot, and you don't want to tell me them now. I mean, that's cool, that's cool. I mean, I just not like I just got a giant ass sword or anything. I could cut you in little bits or anything like that. So, your left tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south, it was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helden, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else. Let's be honest, I, I literally ran like hell. I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenichi that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal... Oh, cool. I can buy a house. Seal Helm of Alteration added. That'll be called a disenchant. No. Alright, so... Basically, there's a dragon that's been spotted by a tower. We're gonna go down there and wait for her to show up. And then we're gonna mess this dragon up. Whew. It's been, it feels good to be back in Skyrim. Like I've been playing uh, Skyrim a lot on the Nintendo Switch version. And guys, if you have a Nintendo Switch and you don't have Skyrim Special Edition on the PS4, or the Xbox One, or your PC, honestly, what, what what the hell is wrong with you? I mean, this is a fantastic game. Buy it. No, no, but seriously, though. If you have a Switch and you're thinking about picking up a large, open-world, you know, RPG, I, I mean, Skyrim, the port... Of Skyrim is absolutely fantastic. I am is nowhere up to par as the way the PS4 is. I mean, I'm just seeing it right now, and I can just see the difference in beautiful graphics and the way it's performing. I mean, it's it's not up to par, but it still looks pretty damn good for a, a Switch game. 
I just wanted to get that off my chest and let you guys know that I've been I don't claim to playing this like I have been playing Skyrim. I've been playing it like crazy, but you know, on the Switch, <laughs> not on you know the uh, PS4, which is where I'm recording it right now. Uh, I should have disenchanted all my stuff while I was up there. How much weight do I have? Oh, I gotta get I got a decent bit of gold. Agent Ward Alex Frost, Superior. Why do I, I don't want to refer to Mind Zone? I will buy this ore here. Yeah, I'll buy this ore. Y'all know what I'm about to do with this ore, right? Make it into daggers and sell it right back door. But uh, yeah, I've been playing it like crazy on the Switch version. I've also been playing a lot of RuneScape. I'll be completely transparent with you guys on that one. I I cannot wait until I get a PC sustainable enough to where I can record and edit videos myself like Shadow does. And I can just do a crap ton of RuneScape content. Like expect as soon as I do get a PC to be seeing RuneScape content in the group. It's gonna be quite a bit of it. I don't know if you guys are a fan or if not a fan. If you see it on mobile, thinking about maybe trying it, I would recommend it. It's a fantastic MMORPG. And I know I have a lot of nostalgia where that's coming from, but guys, it, it's seriously a great MMO. I'd recommend it. But anyway, taking a break from Skyrim, or from RuneScape, old school RuneScape, sorry. I, I, don't, I don't really play old RuneScape 3. They ruined that, but I play old school RuneScape. Uh, taking a bit of a break from that to, uh, oh, what is it? Taking a bit of a break from that to play Skyrim because there's apparently a petition going around, and this is what really made me want to play Skyrim today, to put a little bit of time into it. There's apparently a petition going around. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Uh, I've seen a couple of videos done on it on YouTube. I've seen it been circling around a little bit on Facebook. IGN, I think. IGN is one of the people I think have shared it. I think I shared it on my personal Facebook page as well. But, um... There's a petition going around for... Her name is Shirley Curry, I believe that's her name. Don't quote me on it, but I think that's her name. She is a... 82-year-old woman who uploads and plays Skyrim regularly. She loves video games. She plays them regularly, regularly. And honestly, she is one of the sweetest people I've ever seen play Skyrim. You seriously watch her videos. They are entertaining. They are wholesome. They are fun. She is the YouTuber I aspire to be. Like, I hope at her age, when I'm her age, somebody calls me the Dark Souls grandpa or the Pokemon grandpa, something like that. Like, seriously, she is who we should all, as gamers, aspire to be in our, you know, the 80s, in our 80s, playing video games. And she uploads them, and her, her content's good. Like, I've watched them. They're fairly entertaining. I was sitting there playing Skyrim on the Switch, and I had her video in the back background, you know, freaking playing Skyrim, you know, playing Skyrim myself and watching her play Skyrim, like, they're, they're good, wholesome content, and it's very entertaining, I would highly recommend going and checking her, you know, videos out, she's uploaded a lot of videos, again, she's been dubbed the Skyrim Grandma by Bethesda fans, and Bethesda fans just want her immortalized in the next Elder Scrolls because she has stated herself that she might not be around. I mean, she's 18 years old. She might not be around for the next Elder Scrolls. And that's very depressing. I mean, I don't want Elder Scrolls 6 to be a buggy, you know, broken, half ass attempt at an RPG, you know, or a survival RPG, survival horror game, whatever the hell you want to call Fallout 76. Like, I don't want it to be a half ass attempt at a cash grab like that piece of garbage is. I want it to be a good game. But also, I mean... There's speculation that Elder Scrolls 6 might not be coming out for another five or six years. And Skyrim came out in 2011. It's time we get a new one, you know? Come on, Bethesda. It's time we get a new one. I love you. You're one of my favorite game developers. I love your games. But come on, quit teasing us. Just give us Elder Scrolls 6. You know that. She has an orcish weapon? Yeah, it's been a while since I played this character. 
Anyway, just, guys, if you do see the petition floating around, please sign it. it. It's a good petition. It's something to get around, to really get behind. She's better at Skyrim than I am. She's a lot better at Skyrim than I am. Oh, my uh, controller's a little low. Anyway, let's fight us a dragon. I'm gonna channel my inner Shirley Curly. Curry. Skyrim, come on away! Oh god. I think I'm a little too under level for this. I'm okay guys, at least it's on a mud crab, right? Jesus. Nope, 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 he's not landing. Run, 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 Zeno. Okay, got him down to half health. Where the hell? First dragon in the video series. Oh yeah, that is, whew, that is an adrenaline pump. You are one ugly son of a, wait, who else, is gonna, who else am I gonna fight? Nobody? Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Fill me with the dragon power. Oh, give me your bones. Give me your scales. I don't want that armor. I don't need it. You shout to the section of the magic menu to equip your Lunar Linting Force shout. Okay! Let's get going. You're gonna hold some stuff for me. What do you need to take? I don't need to take anything. You're gonna be taking some stuff. Give, give you, give you, give you. Let's go. I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. Better believe it. Dragonborn, what do you mean? Back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what, like what I just did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. I don't know what happened to me. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That would prove. It. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Okay, you want me to shout? All right, I'll, I'll shout. That's right. Okay. My grandfather used to tell stories about the dragon. <sighs> Those born with the dragon I was thinking about just like screaming into the mic, but I didn't want to blow your guys' heads or ears open. I thought it would have been funny if I just like started screaming into the mic profanities and whatnot. But I didn't. I, I'll, I'll sacrifice you. I won't sacrifice your ears. There weren't any dragons like the there. On their They're just coming back now for the first time in forever. But the old tales tell of the dragonborn who could kill dragons and steal their power. You must be Now, now, guys. What do you say, you nothing? There's me plenty of me to go around for everybody. No need to fight over me. Tell us, do you believe in this dragonborn business? <laughs> Some of you would be better off keeping quiet than flapping your thumbs on matters you don't know anything about. Rude. Here's a dead dragon, and that's something I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some <coughs> mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more what? than enough for me. You, you killed him? Really? Because I was... I didn't see you in there, like, smashing its head in with a freaking sword. I'm done, I'm done with this shit. I'm done. Nope, nope, you're, you're on your own ear list. Taxation is theft! Start screaming out, you know, political bullshit. Taxation is theft. Me is murder. I don't agree with any of these statements. I'm just blasting them out as a joke. Cause you, know, you always got people on both political sides screaming at each other. Yeah, you, you get you get the joke. Coming next week, Skyrim politics. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. 
Tools, wires, and tools for sale at the bell places. You know what? Actually, where did this girl go? You're a Dover King. Okay. Where the hell did Uthgard go? Did she die? Oh, there she is. How can I assist? Hmm? Give me talking. your tr the dragon bones I just traded you. I'm gonna sell them to this cat. What do you need to take? I know, I know, I know. I should be keeping this stuff because you know I'll be able to turn it into dragon cool. weaponry and armor and all that stuff. But at the moment, I am How very. Very far away from being able to use a uh, dragon bone weaponry or armor. Alright, we are going to sell a bunch of stuff because I need some money. Sell that. Whew. Nope. Honestly, guys, I'm thinking about switching up my character a little bit. I know I was thinking about being a two-handed, you know, tank, but, I mean, I already got points in the one-handed, you know, and be like a one-handed swordsman. I'm thinking about doing that with some archery and uh, completely ignoring block and be use uh, destruction magic. I'm thinking that's how I kind of want my character to progress. So I'm thinking I'm going to go back to the the smithing guy for the companions and I'm gonna sell my great sword and purchase a steel sword and then just use that with magic as my like main melee counterpart you know because honestly a, a great sword is so much heavier than a regular sword and that just adds way too much weight on me and I'm not gonna use a shield so that'll be even less weight on me I'm just gonna use magic and a one-handed weapon I will be right back one second, guys. My wife just called me. Wish I could... Look, you've already been told you're not allowed to. Turn around and go back the way you came. Give me one second. I'm going to pause this. All we ask is to look for her. I don't care what. Be right back, guys. Do it. After what happens. I'll still play. I just won't have my mic in. I don't toss you in jail. Now get lost. We will be back. This is not. I work with my mother to sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun most of the Why is me? You did it! You killed the dragon. There's been talk amongst the guards that you are dragonborn, but such a thing, surely that's not possible. Good. 
You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The group. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thoom or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Hrothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rangar. Don't be so hard on Avanichi. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl. And this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Whatever happened when you... I do apologize for that interruption and the lack of talking. It's not like you guys really love my voice anyway. Uh, my wife called. She had an interview today. And she's really, really nervous about it. So again, I apologize. I will put a disclaimer in the video at so and so amount of time to so and so amount of time that I won't be speaking. Alright, I don't care, I don't want to talk to you guys anymore. Okay. So basically what they just told me is, oh, you're a dragonborn. You need to go to these uh what are they called? The high the Greybeards. Now I get Lydia as a house house carol. What does a house carol do? Trust me when I say this, she is a lot better than, what's her name, Uthgird, so I'm definitely going to take her over Uthgird, because honestly, she's a lot better than Uthgird. Uthgird's not a very good companion, she's just not that great at all. So anyway, we now have unlocked, the best part about this quest that I just did, was it finally unlocked the ability to just randomly encounter dragons. Until you do this quest, you will not encounter dragons, I'm pretty sure. Alduin is the only dragon you will ever see, unless you do, unless you completely ignore this quest line. He is the only dragon you will ever see. I think in like very specific instances you will see dragons, like in certain quests where dragons just pop up, uh, you will see them. But for the most part, you won't see dragons unless you do that part. Oh my gosh, I need to, I need to I need to disenchant those. I'm definitely going to sell you. Oh, 62 gold? It hurts. It hurts. Alright, I'm going to buy you. Ah, hold on, scratching my eye. I apologize, I'm human. And Skyforge Steel Sword. There we go. Alright, let's upgrade this thing. Now back to being a one-handed wielding magic casting tank. 
I guess you, I guess you could say this, and we'll, we'll put sparks on for right now. Yeah. All right. Might uh replace my helmet or something with like a robe, like a like a hood or something like you know, something that gives me more magic defense or magic boosts. But anyway, this is us right now. It's a good show, by the way. If anybody sees that on, I think NBC. This is us. As of right now, I don't have any particular goals on what I want to do with my character right now. I uh, do want to finish the companion quest line, but every single time that I remember trying to go after the Silver Hand Leader, it's so cold that I have like 5 to 10 percent of my health and I can't find anything that is super warm. I, I just, if you guys have any tips or advice to deal with the cold in this area, or in this, you know, what's it called survival mode please give me some tips and advice because literally what the hell I'm still here. I'm heading home, if you yeah yeah you go, go home where's Lydia I thought I told her to come with me was it glitching and I had two it might have been glitching and I had two You're someone who can get things done. I don't know sooner or later I will see Lydia at some point Oh, there she is. Follow me, I need your help. Alright. Yep, this is me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anybody has any, like, advice on, like, quests I should, uh, go ahead and start doing, please feel free. I, I would love for some community input to be put into this character. This is not an I play, this is a let's play. The thing about Skyrim, and a big reason why I started my Dark Souls playthrough, is simply because Skyrim is a large as hell open world game. And there is so much to do, so many avenues I could go down, so many roads I could take. So please, if you guys have any, any advice on like content you would like to see, just throw it out there. And I will more than likely do it. Again, like Dark with Dark Souls, I am not a... Uh, Expert at Skyrim, I know I have not done every single thing on this game. So again, like I said, you want to throw out some ideas, throw out some uh, tips and whatnot, go right on ahead. I am an open freaking book. Sell that. Silver garnet ring. I don't think I can enchant it. I ever retrieve the golden claw quest? I have not. Okay, I can do that. Let's go do that. Let's go retrieve the golden claw real quick. Maybe he'll uh have some food or something to give me. You there? We're looking for someone in the white room. We'll pay good money for information. I just realized my mini fridge is making noise, and you guys can all probably hear that. She's likely not using her true name. We will pay for any. We are not welcome here. We will be in Rorik's Okay. Try to buy some materials from her to, to up my spinning. Mm, I'm gonna buy some steel ingots to make some steel arrows. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Alright. If I was better at editing, one thing that I think I could, I could do would be to, like, just play Skyrim pretty much off-screen and just, like, start recording clips when I've accomplished something or when I've done this. But I feel like that would be boring in a game like Skyrim, you know? I, figure, I feel like you guys would want to see the quests, or you'd want to see the accomplishments, or you'd want to see the level up, you know? I, I feel like that would just be boring. If you guys watch, it's like, oh, I just completed this quest in the Brotherhood. Oh, I just completed the Thieves Guild. Oh, I just completed this. Like, I feel like that would just be boring for you guys to watch. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I just, I feel like something like this where you guys are actually seeing like half hour, 45 minutes of me playing it would be more entertaining than just seeing little snippets and clips of me doing this, me doing that, me doing this and that, and you know, it's, I just feel like that would be more entertaining for you guys. I'm all about what's more entertaining for you guys, 
rather than just you know doing stuff for my fun and benefits. If you guys haven't noticed, like I said, I've got I can play Skyrim for fun on the Switch, or I can play another character for fun. This is for you guys, not for me. What would what would entertain you guys is what I'm trying to get at. Like, for instance, I don't think you guys would really want to see me constantly buying and selling materials uh, for 100 smithing. Because I will get that at one point in time. This character will definitely have 100 smithing. I get that in every single character on Skyrim. So it's going to happen. But it's just a matter of, you know, when. I could always uh, put in mods and just get myself 100 smithing. But to be honest, I don't really want to play this game with mods. Just like if I were to do a uh, Fallout 4 Let's Play series, which I am actually thinking about doing if I ever get around to finishing off Skyrim, I, I, I would not want to do mods. Like, I just don't want to play this game in a Let's Play fashion with you guys in mods, you know? Oh, the survival mode is going to make this pl Let's Play so much more grindy and tedious, isn't it? That rabbit looks like it's humping something. Your and gray man is the best blacksmith in the land. His steel is legendary. You found it. <laughs> there it is. Strange. It's, I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Does that mean I can take your food? No, I can. I can just raid this guy's store now. It means so much to us to have the You know damn well, even though my mouth is just, my jaw is dropped from that from shock and that sight. I, I'm going to loot her dead body right in front of her brother. You know damn well I'm going to. Well, uh, <laughs> let's hope this, the cheese, whiz, or, uh, cheese wheels are, you know, worth it. Yeah, considering your dead sister. Okay, so is there anything else he'll let me take? No? Okay. Anything else of value he'll let me take? You're looking for I'm looking for food, bruh. I cannot believe that happened. Like, he's not even gonna... He's not even, he's not even a witness of his own sister's death. Do you have any grilled chicken breast? I will take that. Like, what the hell? He's not even... Yeah, he's not even a wit considered technically a witness to his own sister's death. It's messed up, man. It's messed up. Uh, any weapons that are interesting? Like steel arrows or something like that? He's got six steel arrows. 
Uh, what about like a robe hood? Like a yeah, like a hood. Nope. Oh, I would actually like that. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. It's much better than the ring I have. Yep, hopefully next time your sister won't die again. Sorry about that. Okay! <laughs> so I think with um, Camilla Avin Camilla Aventinus' death, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up. Um, episode 6 of Dark Souls is currently being uploaded. It should be uploaded again uh, tonight. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I really appreciate it. I might be pumping out some more Skyrim videos because honestly, I'm, just, I'm really pumped to play Skyrim right now. The whole Skyrim Grandma thing's really got me wanting to play it. But uh, again, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Leave a like and comment. And if you liked it, just please. Just thank you guys for watching. I've really just been enjoying this. Again, any sort of like feedback you guys can give me, like a community-driven character, I would love it. Obviously, I'm not the best Skyrim player of all time. So, you guys, honestly, just, you have a great day. Thank you. Goodbye.